as well as cool new things like the Session Players, the Chroma Glow plugin, and the Stem Splitter, there's another little change, and it's related to the Chords track. We've got a brand new view of our global tracks here in Logic Pro for iPad. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what it's all about. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. Welcome back to Logic Pro for iPad 2. Let's dive in. If you're brand new to Logic Pro for iPad, check out the other videos in the description where I show all of the cool features, including the new stuff here in version 2. One of those new features is the Chords track, which I cover in a complete video you can find linked up there and in the description. But how do we display the Chords track and how does it work in with our other global tracks here in Logic Pro? Let's find out. To show the global tracks here in Logic Pro for iPad, we just need to tap on this this little button here and you can see there that the chord track is showed here by default to change what's showed here we tap on these three dots and then tap on customize global tracks now if you're familiar with the first version of logic pro for ipad this looks a little different because we have this option here to show a single track so with that enabled if we show one track the others are removed for instance if we want to instead show the time signature track we tap on that one tap off and there you go we've only got the the time signature displayed here. We can adjust that by tapping right here on the time signature and going back to say the chords track and now it's going to go back to that. So if you don't have a whole lot of screen real estate or don't like the clutter of a whole lot of different tracks showing, you can actually show just one at a time here and when you need them, you can bring them up using the drop down here, go back to chords. The other option you have is to use the old way which is to tap on the three dots and go to customize global tracks. If we turn off the show single track yeah now you can actually turn on and off and if you want all five tracks on here you can actually show them all at once you can have the marker track the tempo the time sig the key sig and the chords track all displayed at once to change that back again go to the three dots customize global tracks and go back to your single track view and once again to show or not show hide and unhide we just tap on this button when that's highlighted it's showing them when it's like that it's not there. We tap it again and it shows those tracks. I actually love this new feature because it adds a little bit of cleanliness here. It's a little cluttered to have all of your tracks there. I kind of like being able to just have one track at a time and being able to move between the different tracks by just tapping here and adjusting if I want to say go to a different track. And it's as simple as that. That's your customized global tracks option here in Logic Pro for iPad. If you'd like to learn what all of the other options do, because we've got a heap of them here in Logic Pro, check out my other videos linked down in the description, and I'll see you next time.